Hey guys, my time boost is just all kicked out, so I'm just going to go and try and get another one uh, while I'm here. I've got to win three games for my big 10 box opening, so two more left of those. So, hopefully, going to be getting this one, and then I'll only need one more tomorrow, and that'll be nice. Ooh, X star boy. Let's see how we do. It's got a Dio, a Lunala. I like that. I can deal with it. Zepdos. So what I'm going to do is get out my Ghastly first. I'm going Ghastly on the on the uh, in the corner, shall we say? And Zepdos is heading up, and we shall see what he wants to do. Next turn, depending on what he does. Oh, there we go. So what I want to do here is just create a little bit of pressure, make him go on his goal, and with that, then I can create a little bit more pressure myself with my Coco, and I want to look to get my Coco. Now what is his looking like? I kind of want to risk an attack. If I get my white right now, I called it. Now his Lunala is in trouble. He can't reach my Coco. So he's going to have to back his Lunala off or dump something right behind it or max revive his Coco. I don't mind that. Attack? No, not attacking. Hmm. Now that is interesting. What I kind of want to do. Hmm, yes, yes. I need to get one more one out. And then I am going to look at going after that Lunala. So what I want to do is I want to swap spot Ghastly for this is perfect. So swap spot Ghastly for for my Coco. Go on, plonk it in behind him. I cannot be surrounded. And I just made a little awkward thing, and I kind of want to get him to attack me. That's what I wanted to do. I want him to attack me. Attack my Ghastly. With like Coco, or um, Sableye, or Lunala. No, not so much Lunala. Not Lunala. So we'll see what he wants to do. Lunala will be the best option. But if I can get Destiny Bond into anyone's damage, I'll be happy. So we'll see what he wants to do. Double chance, Lunara. Come on, damage on Destiny Bond. Damage on Destiny Bond. One time. One more, one more, one more, one more, one more. <sighs> Anything but Moongeist. Anything but Moongeist. So, what I'm going to do now is start leading on up with my... If, if he got knocked out then, I would have moved up with my fish. He can't attack the fish, or would have swapped something else out. He would have to go for my Coco. <clears throat> so, I'm just going to go on back with my big old fox right back there. 
<laughs> okay, decent play. I can respect it. And now I'm just going to move on up. And now I'm down two mons. Ooh. So I'm going to put the pressure on with my Sable and make it so he's got the, the on entry pressure. And just see who he wants to come out with. XP going down. Do I want to swap? Is he going to get a weak cycling kick or not? It's 50-50. If my save light gets his gold, I win. Cancel. I hope it doesn't backfire. But I cancelled. <sighs> and it didn't. So that's good for me. Um, that's very good for me. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just gonna go and attack, look to knock this guy out, and then start max reviving and bring all my mods back. And that's what I want to do. So we're fairly even on time at the moment. Okay, gold on purple. <laughs> oh, I wish you double moon guys last time. That would have been nice. So I didn't even have a chance to activate my my um Who do I wanna do? What do I wanna do? This ain't good. So I'm going to start pulling back. And I'm probably going to have to gold block. So, and then I hope, hope gold block and then hope for purple. And then if he goes all out and I get purple next turn, if he goes for the attack and I get purple, then, then I'll be able to max revive, get us around. And then he's only got chicken left. So that is what I'm going for. I should have just swapped one. Ooh. Come on. Zap those, get your purple or your white. No. Good play. Good play, Mr. Starboy. I'm just going to go run on up, get a bit of pressure up on him again. Don't want that DOA coming out if I can help it. So, with that being said, I'm just going to go through Ghastly right up in there. And... I kind of want to throw my Mon right up there, and I will. If he wants to step back and surround it, I'll gladly take my Zorak back. So, if he wants to surround it, he can. But we'll see what he wants to do. Yeah, that's fine. I'm happy with that. So now, put Ghastly on the, on the entry, and now I can swap my Zorak out again. And I'm just going to put my Dark Energy. Because if a DOA wants, or Lunala wants to knock out my Sableye, my Yavetal, anything like that, then I want to be able to knock him out too. Purple. I need purple. If I don't get purple, I'm in trouble. Purple. <sighs> no, not the miss. Ouch. Um, I need gold on purple. Le Lunalas. Lunalas. Not my friend. <sighs> Time for the gold. Starboy. Great game. Great game. Lunala. You've been all
your belt. How could you do that to me? How could you do that to me? Um, Alright. Let's do one more. I want to get my booster. And... Let us see what I can do. I'm excited to be editing again. I'm just going to tell you guys that. Doing this kind of stuff. That's, that's what I love. Um, I'd love doing this too. For you guys. But. Oh, that's, that's what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do over a year ago. Before I even started making Pokemon Duel videos. So it feels cool to finally be doing it. Um, here we go. Let's let's see what this guy has in store. And I have uh what does he have? Max Revive Gold Rock Genghanite. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to push right on up in his business and see what he wants to do. And with him doing that. I am going to throw my little little wimpod down here and then I'm just going to throw my Sableye out behind and after that, oh I got it, I got it, I'll take that, I am going to swap spot, get a quick surround in my turn, and then see what my opponent wants to do. Um, oh, just straight down with the chicken. So, I am going, I don't have an X-Speed in here. I would like an X-Speed. So, I'm just going to go throw my Coco right up in here. In my turn, a few attacks, white on white, is going to be okay, and also gold into purple is going to be okay. 50-50. Oh, he's going for that Mega Gengar. So I'm just going to throw my Yuvetal out in front. And then next turn, Ghastly is coming over there. So Ghastly is moving on up, and he has to, he has to respect that. So, what I'm going to do now is just block him off with this little Wimpod. And I'm just going to make it so I was going to try and close him off next turn. Do I want to swap? No. I want to leave your Vettel there. That's perfect. And now I'll pull Gengar one step closer. So, what should I do now? I'm actually just going to attack with Gengar. Attack Gengar, go white on white. Oh, oh, big dodge. Big dodge. Ooh, come on, white on white. No, darkness. My best friend. Blaze, coming up. Not going to look pretty. I'm just going to say that much. So, he can potentially make again get down there, hold me into that position, and that won't be very nice. So, be interested to, ooh, just straight with the blaze, nice, good call. But, I will take this opportunity to get a free blaze off. He probably thinks that, hey, that gang has got one MP. No, 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 I'm not falling for that. Um... Just going to leave that ghastly there for pressure. And then, potentially try to... Do I want to move him up? Yes. And looking for my 50 or my white. That's fine. Happy with that. And then, I'm just going to go in and attack. And hopefully get chaos counted both times. Here we go. 
so he needs me to get a dodge. Cross counter both times, no matter what, unless he dodged, he's in trouble. So he has to attack and win. What about now? Mega Gengar back there can potentially hold me off. But, yep, he's doing it. If he attacks though, and I get cross counter, I hope he does that. Come on, cross counter one more time. Ah, but now, at least Mega Gengar has got a giant, a giant, spectacularly giant miss. So that is one positive, very, very big positive. Oh, give me my gold. <sighs> nice. I needed a bit of that. I kind of feel like attacking with my Ghastly, to be fair. I want to attack that Mickey Ginga with my Ghastly. <laughs> Let's see if this works. My <laughs> 20 on his big miss. Oh, oh, I risked it. I risked it. Not worth the risk. At all. Destiny Bond or D-Slip. I'm happy with that. One more. That's a shame. I shouldn't have risked it. I should have moved out with my Coco. And been happy. So I want to move on up with my Coco now. Look to attack Mew. And start recycling some ones. So pumping your Vettel up. And I'd love a darkness onto that 70. That'd be nice. No, he doesn't want it to happen, so I'm just going to push on up. Not going to attack. He's burnt his Mega Gengar, his Blaze and his DOA are all in his PC. So, and he just blocked it off, so that is good for me. Dark Mist, yes. <gasps> yes. That is good. That is good for me. Uh, so now, I've used my... I've used my, mm, actually, how much does, let's have a quick look at my Mega Sableye. So he's got a 90, so I can't knock out and use Hypersonic. Mm, mm, I see. So I'm just going to go here and attack, see if I can knock it out this way. There we go, beautiful. And if he comes across with his... Um, with his, oh, he's not going for it. I'll take that opportunity to shut his entry down. And not going to attack, throwing it up there. And... That's good. If he gets Lava Slide, that's going to be good roll. Very good roll for him. Dodge will be good for me. Gold into Purple will be good for me. Mmm, X-Speed, nice. So, not sure how it's going to go. <sighs> of course, of course. That's how it goes. What am I losing? Let's have this. I think I'm losing my Gold. So I'm going to go gold block with my Coco. And the reason why I'm doing Coco is because now I've got two backups. I've, I've had a bad habit of gold blocking with one in Hadoumi, one backup. But gold into purple right now. <sighs> Close. So moving on up with my little pod. Got a surround set up. So, and I'm out of the way of that, um, oh, yes, he's going for a come on, dodge, or 70 on white again. No. And now I need my Wimpod to land, go or purple or blue. Purple or blue. 
is what I need. And let's see if he wants to attack. Double chance, he's doing it. Yes. Uh, I love it. Thank you, Wimpod, for your ability. So I'm just going to pop a Dark Energy right about now. And if he attacks, he could be in trouble. Damage on damage, he's in trouble if he gets his purple. That's good. I'll take that. Just going to move on up my Zorak. And I want to get attacking that Grow Bomb. That's what I want. Alright, he's doing it. Ah, oh, no. 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 How did that happen? No. Where's the purple? Where's the purple at? Um, so, the pressure's going up again. Leaving that set to be for now. Do I want to... Yeah, I'll just give it ghastly there, why not? And now, I'll just throw my Zorak right up there. On goal. Got that defense. Oh, oh, He's doing it. Max Revive Gold Rock. Gold into purple for me would be amazing. My gold into his purple. Because <sighs> I'm level 3. It's only because I'm level 3. Mm. Mm. I'm just going to move on back defensively. I see what my opponent wants to do. I could guess that much. It's gonna lay it out there in front of him. Um, if he beats me with a jet kick, he'll win. So hopefully that doesn't happen. And nine one hundred on his damage. <sighs> cycling kick. That cycling kick, man. Not my best friend. This is all I wanna say. Um, looking for that dodge. Dodge for me. That would do too. So Sable are going to go up for the extra cover. And I'm way down on time. I'm just going to say that much. Purple for me. Purple, purple. Now he is going to be a stealth machine. So, what I'm going to do, move on up there. If he stealth hits, he's going to be just there. So, that'll be fine, but if he stealth hits and then rolls, he could potentially roll into his 40. And stealth hit right now. Stealth hit, there we go. That's what we're talking about. And now I'm just going to pressure up. I can replace that Ghastly if Ghastly does get knocked out. And that is the aim. Decent. <laughs> yes. Ghastly, man. Ghastly, the new meta. Backing up now. Um, with my Coco. And if he rolls white again, game over. Game over. So, I am just going to move on up here. Probably should have moved there. I should have stayed there, to be honest. And if he goes white again... Here we go. Where's he going to move to now? Not going to do it. Well... What am I going to do? I have got to set up something right now. Get my, get my, I don't have a soft swap, I keep thinking I've got a soft swap, but I don't, but I don't. Next arrival going down, Heatran, nice, smart. Got a little bit to confuse him, 
What am I confused right now? Mm. He's now gonna defend with his. Oh, he's not going for it. Come on. I'll take that. I lose my Destiny Bond. But I am going to get rid of his Gengar. So one left one I have to worry about right now. And then just move on up again. He is most likely going to get that heat train out. Oh wow, change tactics, come on, damage on damage. Damage on damage and whew, he's in trouble. Dark mist. I'll take a dark mist. And what I'm going to do now is just start backing everything up. Back it all up. And just make it so even if my I don't mind that, I can throw my um my saber there next turn. Perfect. Not so perfect. <laughs> because my, my sable is in the way. There we go. One minute to win it. And let's see. Damage on damage is what we're waiting for. Damage on damage. I'll take that. 132. 132. That is nice. Um... I'm just going to throw my little, my little bag right in front of him, and then I'm going to move him out, maneuver my Sableye around. If he gets knocked out, that's fine. He's not going to want to stealth it. And now I can just jump around with my Sableye. Go here, then there, and then there. So he's got one, two, three turns to knock this out. And if he knocks it out, I'm happy because I get out my Zorak. So, it's, it's slowly creeping, creeping closer, creeping closer. I am going down to the last minute so many times with this.